hello hello scorpio welcome back welcome back if this is your first time i welcome you new soul drivers my existing family members soul drivers thank you so very much for your continuous love and your support it is greatly appreciated so you know you know what what is it how are you shocking people right now again i love to do these readings for you because again like I said I love to bring you these wonderful messages because a lot of you you're not aware because you don't know people don't tell you a lot of people are afraid to compliment you and so again from God's lips to my ears i'm bringing you these these messages so without any further ado let's get started so how are you shocking people how are you shocking people spirit how how is the collective how is the soul tribe shocking people this came out quickly wow fearless fearless action a lot of you your fearless knight of wands again you're not a lot of you maybe in the past you were timid shy you wouldn't express yourself but now you're open whether this is you letting the people in your life know how you feel, what's on your mind, what career path direction you're going to take. Is it like now? Is it like you're coming in? You're fearless. You're no longer taking meaningless risk or playing it safe anymore. You're fearless. You're not holding yourself back anymore. You're passionate. You are driven with whatever this is, you know, you're working on, you're working at. You're not allowing fear to overcome you, to talk you out of your dreams anymore. And at the back here is the Ace of Wands. So a lot of you, it's this motivated beginning. A lot of you are just, you know, embracing new beginnings in your life. First start. You're willing to do the work. You're willing to put the time in. And so for a lot of you, you've closed a lot of doors, chapters in your life as well. Whether separation, divorce, just cutting ties with people places and things that no longer serve you and so now you've prayed for a first start you ask the divine for a new beginning and this is the journey that you're on so this just really ties in well with the knight of wands again this is passionate this is driven you're taking action on your life again you're no longer sitting on the sideline you're willing to partake and i mean it doesn't matter again the shape the size you are willing to participate in in your life you are no longer just sitting by and watching life pass you by but you're willing to take a part in it and now a lot of you you, like I said, you're just passionate. Whatever you're working on, your goals, you're like, you're unstoppable to me right now. It's like, fear what? You know, who can tell me what? Now I know what I'm here for. Now that I know that I have the power, it lies within me. I am going to get up and I'm going to take a chance on myself. And the wheel of fortune, lucky twist of faith. So for a lot of you, again, you're realizing how this life is. You know, you have to be ready for the cycle. You have to be ready to take a chance, ready 
to take a gamble on yourself. And for a lot of you, you're shocking people. Like I said, people are looking at you and they're seeing, you know, certain things happening in your life. And they may be saying you're lucky, but you really know you're blessed. You're shocking a lot of people because, again, a lot of doors, a lot of opportunities are opening up for you. And again, these are divinely guided. You know, people are seeing that doors are opening up for you. Opportunities coming into your life. It's like all the challenges that you were going through. It's like that season, it's ending. It's coming to an end. You're closing out a chapter. And now it's like, this is your time now. This is your your season. This is your moment. You're shocking people because there was a time when there was a lot of deception, a lot of hidden deceit that were around you. You dealt with a lot of people who wore masks. A lot of people who spoke lies in your life as well. They stole from you. They gossip about you. And you're shocking people how, again, it's like you've taken all of those swords. I mean, look, at the back of the deck is five of wands, frictional conflict. So this is to confirm. You've had a lot of drama in your life, a lot of frictional conflict. So you've had people who came up against you. And again, this is just a typical Scorpio read, right? You're shocking people because, again, you overcome. You overcame the odds. You beat the odds. The, the traps were set. The weapons formed, but they didn't prosper. And so people see that now, again, it's like if the, you're willing again, to travel this path by yourself. It took a lot of people to gang up against you. Five of swords, we saw the five of wands. So it's like you alone against so many people. And so this is why you're realizing like you're knowing your strength now. There must be something inside of you why people were trying to come up against you so much. And so this is why you're forging ahead your own race. You're passionate. You're driven. You realize that the arms of flesh will fail you. You cannot even trust your own people. And so these same people, they realize that doors that a lot of them probably tried to close for you, God is opening up doors that no man can close for you. Wow. Wow. That's how you're shocking people. Spread how is Scorpio? How is the soul tribe shocking people? Wow. Two cards came out, guys. Six of swords. You're moving on to calmer water. Needed change. You're shocking uh, you're, you're, you're shocking people. Because you're moving away from conflict. See, we saw the, the seven of swords. You know, the ones, the drama, the conflicts. You're moving, you're moving to calmer waters. Like I said, you're taking the memories with you. You know, you're not afraid to, to move in dangerous territory. You're not afraid to move in businesses or move among people where, you know, it's like you're not afraid to step out, to be in to be in the company of others who may seem more wiser than you, more knowledgeable than you. It's like you're not afraid to swing among the sharks. I mean, you're not afraid. You know, it's like, look at this. This is the sea, the, the ocean, and you're willing to walk in it. It's like you're willing to do whatever it takes to get to where you need to be. You're determined. And we saw the night of one. You're fearless. 
right there is a shark right beside him and it's like you're not even afraid you walk through the fire you're not afraid about getting burned anymore it's like you've been burned so much you have gone through so many things you know the video before you got it out the mud it's like you're willing to walk through it you will go through water you will go through mud whatever means necessary to accomplish what you need to because the things that you are leaving in the past or that you left in the past is like it made you fearless and this is why as the knight of wands you are just fearless it's like you're not phased by anything in life anymore you're just used to it the sun unbridled joy again this is abundance blessing riches again it's like you are shining, you're glowing, you're radiating. You know, you're in your own bubble, in your own world. It's like you're admired, you're, you're an inspiration to others. You know, whether you like it or not, people make it their time, their duty. Just like you see people will rise to see the sunset. They will rise to see the sun. You know, they'll make it their appointed duty to see the sunset as well. So people are curious about you. You're shocking people how, again, your bounce back, your glow up. How beautiful, how handsome you are in spite of everything that you have gone through. You are willing to do the work. You are willing to pour into yourself. And it's paying off. It's paid off. Wow. Wow. It's paid off. Behind the back here is the devil. So again, just you've been through a lot. I know I use that word a lot. Yes, I believe the collective, the my soul tribe, you have been through a lot of things. A lot of you, you're going through a lot of things right now. Things that were destructive that were meant to get you. But this is this is this is what lit the fire in your belly. This is what is causing the spark to come in, in 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 to come up inside of you i mean the sun is like you have been through a lot and yet still they can't they can't destroy you you move for nobody like i said people rise people are curious about you your life your your abilities what is going on with you you are admired. Again, this is why people don't tell you. But, you know, it doesn't mean that they don't see it. It's just that they're not saying it. Yeah. You're shocking people regarding your foundation, your stability. Again, you're with your soul tribe, your soul family. You're celebrating with people under the wheel of fortune, I mean, this is blessed. This is luck. This is the blessed life. The blessed life that you have. You're shocking people because the things, again, that were meant to break you, you use every bricks to build your foundation and your stability. And now your comeback is bigger, stronger, greater. At the back here, it's unstoppable force. Unstoppable force. These people couldn't kill you. They couldn't take you out, no matter how hard they tried. And it's like the moment you got a break, and, and a lot of you, you were praying to the divine to give you a chance, to give you a break, to leave, whether that job, that relationship, that friend group, and you got a new start and it's like your life is better because of it. It's like it doesn't matter whether you're by yourself or not. You are better. You're more stable, more peace of mind. We see the six of swords. You had to move away from what was not helping you, serving you. And now you're having so much peace. Even if you're a single parent, you're by yourself. Just enjoying the company of yourself or your children. Wow. 
Awesome. You're enjoying your family. You're unstoppable. I mean, it's like they made a beast out of you. It's like, again, they, 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 they buried you not knowing you were a seed. And this is why your comeback is so much stronger, bigger, better. So we have four cards. One, two, five cards. Okay. Butterfly. This is us. This is transformation. So for a lot of you, you're shocking people about how much you've changed for a lot of you this look like a sudden change to a lot of people it's like you know you were in your cocoon a caterpillar a lot of people rejected you passed you over counted you out and then like i said like a seed and then you transform now you're a beautiful butterfly you're admired people stop to stare at you wow Mm. So turtle, like I said, slow and steady, win the race. You're moving forward. You're making progress in your life. The rose. You're loving, you're delicate, you're shocking people. Again, you're not bitter. You're better because of the things that you have been through. For a lot of you, you're growing. You're contented. You know, it's like you may even, it doesn't matter what your financial life is. You're shocking people how contented you are. It's like your joy. You're just enjoying your peace, your solace, being by yourself. Ornaments. I mean, we saw with the celebration here, your beauty. People can't help. They're admiring you. Again, your glow up. The way how you're radiating. For a lot of people, for a lot of people, they're shocked. Again, because you're make you're you're investing better in yourself. You're investing more into yourself. You're more mature now. And if this is money, you're making extra money. Again, we saw the door that God is opening up and making a way for you. Tower. Tower. Again, this is us. You know, it's like you're not afraid to end things. You're not afraid to start over. It's like bring the tower. You want everybody to shake up everybody, everything that is in your life that doesn't mean you any good. So you're shocking people how you will just pack up, pick up yourself and just leave. You don't have to explain anything to people, but you shift. Once you find out their energy, you just leave. You'll cause a tower. So a lot of you as well, if this is money, you're earning a lot. You know, it's like you're pushing, you're building a business. You're investing in yourself as well. Wow, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. I love that for you. And let's just do a few more. How oh, you're shocking people. So slow and steady, you know, and if this is money... You're shocking people because, again, maybe, again, whatever was going on in the past, but things are picking up for you. Wow. Wealth. Three cards came out. Wealth. So you're shocking people. Again, you're working on yourself, on your business, on your career. So we see that. So it's not as if people may look at it and say you're lucky, but you're blessed. This is your hard work that is paid off wealth so your hard work is paying off you're working towards real wealth and prosperity in your life spirit is saying keep investing in yourself and look into long-term career planning so like i said a lot of you you're investing in yourself in your business and it is paying off this is what is shocking people see isn't it lovely the all the things that you were pouring into other people 
when you start you shift that because they didn't appreciate you now when you invest that in yourself you see the glow up that it brings because you the thing about you is that you take care of people when you love you love hard and you will give you will you know you just invest in people more than you even do yourself and now when you learn to pour that back into yourself you realize no wonder a lot of these people they love to be around you because you see the sun you make people shine now you are shining you are standing out people may look at you and say you're spoiled but you're spoiling your own self wow star power these are wow these are awesome cards you're shocking people because you're a star you're in your star power right now you're a natural actor and influencer you're attracting fame and fortune in your life scorpio you're a star we saw the sun the star i mean you can't be hidden like i said people come out to see you to admire you they may not tell you but this is why a lot of these people tried to bring conflict in your life because they wanted to to go to cause doubt and tower in your life but for a lot of you those tower it's what created who you are today some of you you were the one who called the tower and you called judgment and you left and now you're investing in yourself now you know who you are you are star power education so a lot of you you're shocking people how of how knowledgeable you are i mean look at the book and you know like the magic it's like you are the magic a lot of people are inspired and learning from you as well you know it's like your life is an open book wow some of you you may be writing a book. You're teaching others. Again, nothing you go through will be wasted. And so all the mess that you have been through, people are realizing that this is what is making you have a beautiful story, a wonderful message. I mean, it's like the rose. You've been through a lot. A lot of you people see how even you're buying rose, you're buying flowers for yourself. You're more gentle with yourself now. The ornaments, you know, your jewelry, the way you adorn yourself, you're making yourself a priority. You're putting yourself out there. You're not playing the background anymore to other people. The butterfly, I mean, your colors, the way you dress. I mean, it's just your confidence. It's the confidence for me. Star power, wealth. You're, you're building businesses. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And at the back here is guidance. So you are divinely guided. So a lot of you, you're shocking people because you're discovering another piece of your destiny and your purpose in life. So yeah, you're in your purpose. And because of that, you're reaping the rewards as well. And we saw that God is on your side and he's opening doors for you, creating opportunities. Look, power position. So a lot of you, you're being promoted are called to lead you step into your sovereignty a lot of you again you you put your crown back on for a while you may have lost it and people see how now you you're you've ta you're taking care and pride in yourself you're holding yourself you're you're holding your head up your posture is more erect you know who you are. You know whose you are. You're a child of God. You're a child of the divine. Look, courage. You are brave. You're a leader. And you're taking and 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 you're taking those leadership opportunities as well. Again, you're fearless. The lion moves for no one. Wow. 
and you have been very strategic as well in your moves that you're making. So a lot of you, you're shocking people how strategic you are. You're making moves in, in silence as well. I love this for you. I'm going to finish right there, Scorpio. Thank you so very much for your love. Please give the videos a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you felt led to do so. And subscribe if you have not yet done so. Thank you so very much. Keep up the hard work. Keep up the good work. It is paying off. They may not tell you, but God placed me here to tell you and to share these wonderful messages with you of how well you are doing. And look, you may not see it now, but it doesn't mean that it's not working out for you. So just keep believing positive thoughts, positive thoughts. Believe in yourself. Put your crown back on. Know who you are. Abundance is your birthright. You are blessed and highly favored. Thank you again and be blessed.